Welcome. Let's take a look at scientific notation. Scientific notation is an application of exponents and is used to simplify numbers that are either really, really big or really, really small. For example, consider the current world population as of June 2020. This is a big number. And if we work through our place values, we can see that we've got hundreds there, thousands, millions. So it looks like it's seven, almost close to eight billion people. Compare that to the length of a bacterium. This is a very small number. And if we think about place value, tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So one of these E. coli bacterium is two millionths meters long, and our world population is close to eight billion people. So let's simplify these numbers. For the world population, we locate the decimal, and we move it over until it appears between the first two significant digits. In this case, between the two sevens. These are the two most significant digits because they have the highest placed value. Then we write only the non-zero digits with the decimal between the first two, and then multiply by a power of 10, with the exponent being the number of times we move the decimal. In our case, nine places to the left. We use powers of 10 because our number system is base 10. For example, the ones is 10 to the zero, the tens is 10 to the one, the hundreds 10 squared, etc all the way up to the last seven, which would be 10 to the ninth. And the exponent is positive because it's a very big number. Now let's look at the length of an E. coli bacterium, a very small number. We locate the decimal, and again, we move it over until it's after the first significant digit. So we write the non-zero digits and multiply by a power of 10. And in this case, it would be negative 6 because we move the decimal over 6 places to the right. The negative implies a very small number. Again, if we think about place value, we have tenths and hundredths, which is 1 over 10 squared, all the way over to the last significant digit here, which is the 2, which would be 1 over 10 to the 6th. And using the laws of exponents, that's a, another way to write 1 over 10 to the 6th is 10 to the minus 6. And of course, we should add in our units so we know what the numbers represent. So meters for length and the number of people. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. Here, the average distance from the Earth to the Sun is approximately equal to 150 million kilometers. So to write the number in scientific notation, we locate the decimal, which is after the last zero, and move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places to the left. So the decimal appears just to the right of the most significant digit. Then we write the non-zero digits with the decimal in between them and multiply by a power of 10, which would be 10 to the 8th because we move the decimal over 8 places to the left. Let's try another example. Here's a really small number, and it represents the average dry weight of an E. coli bacterium. Here we're going to have to move the decimal all the way over to the right in between the 2 and the 9, the significant digits in this case. So let's count how many times we move the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 places to the right. So we write the non-zero digits with a decimal in between and multiply by a power of 10, in this case 10 to the minus 13, because we move 13 places to the right, and negative means it's a very small number. And there you go. There's a quick look at scientific notation. Thanks for watching.